Hello friends, welcome to JavaScript learning series. Today in this video we are going to learn about call, bind and apply methods in JavaScript. So let's get started. So in JavaScript a call is a function that helps you to change the context of invoking function. So let's first understand the use of call function with some example. So I am creating two global variable first name and another variable last name. Now I am creating one object called grid maker which will have two properties first name let me say right width and the last name come here and there is one method called greet which will take two argument arc1 and arc2 and it is going to just console dot log let me say Welcome First name This dot first name space This dot last name space Talk one and dollar up to yep so now we have one function grid and internal properties private properties or i would say within which is available within the object first name last name and i have the overall object called grid maker now let me call this function grid and see the output Maker dot grid and I am passing to arguments and let's see the output. So if you can see the output, welcome ride with Punkim to 2023. So this, because this first name ride with and the last name is Punkim and arcs1 and arcs2 is a 22 and 2023 now let's uh, like if i am taking this particular function update grid equal to grid maker dot grid and if i am trying to call this update grid with the same argument then let's see the output if you can see here we have the welcome javascript developer to 2023 this is because we have the global variable first name and last name javascript developer so here it is going to take the global scope and it is not going to take the that internal scope which is available within the object so here uh, it is going to take this particular in this update grid 
it is going to take the this particular this scope as the global scope and it is going to use the first name and last from the global scope instead of this particular internal object scope so now let's say i have one very custom scope uh, let me say custom grid equal to which will have the first name banking and the last name Sitaria. now if i want to use this particular scope instead of global scope for this particular function update grid so as i told earlier uh, about the call function that if call function will allow us to change the context of that particular invoking function so now we will try the call function here like updated creek dot call then i am passing here the new scope so call function will contain the mainly two arguments the first argument is the invoking scope which you want to change and another after that the list of arguments which you want to pass to that particular invoking function so here i am going to pass the two arguments so i am going to pass two arguments here and let's see the output clear the console so here you can see we have the welcome bank to 2023 so we have changed the scope of this particular function with the help of call function now let's try with the apply function so apply is very similar to the call function the only difference is that in the apply you can pass the array second argument as an array which contains the list of argument which you want to pass so in the call we have to pass comma separated uh, argument here but if you are using the apply method then the only difference is you can pass this argument as an array now let's see the output so the second one is the from this particular apply method the similar output for the call as well as for the apply now let's talk about bind method so bind is also again the similar with the call and apply but the difference is in case of call and apply you can immediately call use the call and apply and you can immediately trigger that particular function but if you want uh, some scenario where you want to change the scope of the function and you want to use it later on that particular function with the updated scope then you can use bind method so let's try the bind method let me say new updated or let me say we already have updated grid so let me take new updated uh, updated grid equal to updated grid dot bind and here i am going to pass my custom grid context scope and or i would say context object 
uh, yep we don't need to pass the uh, if you want to make it as a uh, fixed that arguments then you can pass it here but for now i am just binding that context and later on i am going to use this function and let me pass this time i am going to pass 24 so that we could see the difference in the console and we forgot the semicolon yep now let's run the code so here you can see we have the welcome monkey to 2024 so yeah i hope from this example the concept of bind call and apply and the difference between bind call and apply is clear now so there are many developers like who is who will be confused between the call and apply because both the functionality is the similar for the call and apply so you can remember it like apply start from a and it use the array and the remaining one will be the call this is the like kind of uh, trick to remember the difference between the call and apply so yeah i hope this video will be useful for you guys to clear the concept of call bind and apply so see you guys on the next video with some other topic till then happy programming